Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's ink, this is day five of 30 inks, 30 days. I have chosen Noodler's Habanero. Um, I wanted to pick a, a really different ink, a bright and cheerful ink. Um, all the other ones that I've done so far are on the darker side, so I thought it would be nice to do something bright and cheerful. And I don't actually think I've ever had this ink in a pen. I have swatched it before, but um, it's always good to write with an ink because writing with it is a different experience. But I do have to say, this is the old style of swatch card that I used to do. Oh, let me back out a little bit. And I would do one pass over the card and then I would do a halfway pass over the card. And I didn't start doing the drips until I don't know, I guess last year sometime, and I just love the drips so much. So I think I'm going to redo this card. So we need our ink, and here is our bottle with our lovely habanero peppers on it. They are tiny and orange and really hot. A friend at work gave me some habaneros one time, and she said, Oh, make sure you wear gloves when you use these because they're super hot. And I said, Pfft. I've been around hot stuff before. I don't need to wear any gloves. What is she talking about? Oh my goodness. That oil, whatever it is in the peppers that makes them hot, it got on my knives. I couldn't get it off my knives. It got on my cutting board. I couldn't get it off the cutting board. And then I rubbed my eyes. Oh my gosh. When someone tells you to wear gloves, wear gloves. Okay, so there is the swatch on our calendar. And now I'm gonna do, ooh, I'm gonna write the name on here first before I swatch. So this is, I'm trying not to get in the ink. This is Noodler's Habanero. Habanero, Habanero. Is that a, is that an N with the, um, is it a tilde over the N that makes you say the N sound? I can't remember. Alrighty, so we're going to do a nice swatch here. Very pretty. And this is a super vibrant ink. And now I'm going to do a drip. Drip, drip, drip. Hmm. Oh, I don't guess you guys can see that. He's just dripping all over the place. Man, this looks like liquid fire. Wow. Very interesting. Okay, so we're going to put him aside to dry. And I'm going to put the lid back on my ink. Again, knock on wood, I have not had an ink accident yet. Don't intend to have any, but you never know. Fate always has different plans for us, doesn't it? Okay. So, we need to write our name on here. And this is Habanero. Habanero. Alrighty. And this is dry. I'm using my index card to fan a little bit. I don't know. Nope, not dry. So we're gonna fan for a moment. You know, I was fanning for one of the other inks and I can't remember if I was recording or not. If there's a minute or two of fanning on one of my other videos, I apologize. I try to cut those things out. Fanning, fanning, fanning. I'm, I'm not cutting this out though. Okay, so, oh, I did want to tell you, when I was cleaning out my pen yesterday with the um, Texas Blue Bonnet, I was trying to decide about this ink. It is just so, I guess it's wet. It's so wet that it just bleeds through everything. And I've heard if you add water to an ink, it will make it drier. 
and I was reading on, I don't know, Fountain Pen Geek or Fountain Pen Network, one of those, both of those, can't remember, and they were saying to add distilled water to the ink, and then one, one place said add no more than 10% water. So I didn't do any measurements or anything, but just as I was cleaning my pen, I was running it under the water, and I... Um, I let the pen suck in some water, completely unscientific, didn't measure anything. But that's what this is. This was just water added to the ink. And of course it made it much lighter because water dilutes the dyes. But um, if we turn over to this page, this is where the blue, oop, can you see that? This is where the blue bonnet was when I wrote with the pen. And what is that? Oh, there's some, some schmutz on the page. So this is where I was writing with the pen, and you can see it's definitely starting to seep through. And then, of course, here was the swatch that I did, and that was the third pass here, and that's starting to seep through too. But down here at the bottom, oop, trying to stay in frame here. Down here in the bottom, that's where I wrote with the um, the added water in the ink. And it does ghost a little bit, but it's it's much better. It's much less bleedy throughy. So that's something to think about. If you don't mind the change in the color, it is a much lighter blue, but that's something for you to consider and to play around with. Of course, I didn't do any measurements, so maybe if you added the water more carefully and in a smaller amount, then um, it wouldn't dilute the, the color quite so much. Okay, so let us get on with our little testing page here. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. And I was going to do Apache Sunset, but um, I've used that one before. I wanted to use something I hadn't used before, but now I kind of wish I had Apache Sunset here to compare this one to. Because Apache Sunset is kind of an orangey ink, and it's known for shading. And this one is a beautiful orange, and it's got a lot of shading going on. So it'll be interesting to compare these two. So this is Habanero, and it is my trusty Twisby Go. I guess I don't need to write this every single time, because it's the same thing every single time, but I might change pens, you never know. Okay, and our test sentence. That is very nice. It has some very nice shading. Alrighty, let's do our little swab. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have put the ink away because I might want to re-dip it. I don't know. I guess the swab is pretty wet. What do we think? Is it wet? It's pretty wet. Maybe I'll dip it a little bit. And you can see with this bottle, gosh, I must have sent samples to somebody because I have not used this ink that much. But it is way down from the, um, the lip of the bottle. If you remember from the Texas Blue Bonnet bottle, that thing was filled up to the very top. Which is how most noodlers inks are. Alrighty, so here is pass number one. Ooh, I'm not an orange person, but this is a very pretty ink. And I love all of the shading. I'm really glad I'm using a broad nib because I feel like the broad nib is going to show off these colors really well. There is pass number two. Actually, I think that kind of soaked up some of the ink. 
I guess I need to let it dry a little more so the Q-tip is not soaking up the wet ink. Well, that second pass is just going to look kind of weird because it I think it lost a little bit of ink <laughs> on that pass, but that's okay. It's all part of the experience. Okay, so we're going to set him aside to dry a little bit, and here is my Midori MD notebook. And that has some lovely shading on it. Can we see that? Very nice. See that Texas blue bonnet is just solid. It is solid blue. Oh, and I wrote habanero twice because all the other ones were two lines. <laughs> and I just wanted to be consistent, so I wrote the name twice so it would take up two lines. But it does have some beautiful shading. And then here is my Hobonichi notebook with the Tomoe River paper. So this also has some lovely shading. Of course, the, the Tomoe River paper is just the best at showing the ink characteristics. Gosh, I guess I went really fast that time. I'll go a little bit slower. But it is very nice. Look at that one. The shading on that is just gorgeous. I love it. I love shading. Alrighty. So let's look at our swatch card and see how he's doing. He is drying. He's still pretty wet. But that is beautiful. That is just orange and orange on fire. Very nice. And you could see the shading in the writing a little bit. Okay. So I don't have... Oh, let me put my... Um, put the lid back on the bottle here. My goodness, I've just left the ink out to dry. Don't want to do that. Whoops, excuse me. Good thing the bottles are very solid glass. Okay, so I don't have a whole lot of orange inks to compare with this, but we will work with what we have. Okay, so where is Apache Sunset? That's the one that I mentioned before. And this also is my old style swatch card. So when I get to Apache Sunset, I'll do a new swatch card for him. So it's a bit lighter and the darker area is also lighter. So it's just lighter all the way around. But of course it does have some nice shading. So gosh, I would love to see some head-to-head -head writing with these guys. So I might have to do some of that later. Maybe by the end of the month. I'll just write out some passages with the both of them and we'll see what they look like. Because they, they're pretty similar. Actually, the shading in the letters here looks like that dark orange. But of course, the shading is darker than this shading. I don't know. Very interesting. Very interesting inks. Okay, so let's look at some different ones. I pulled out Lamy Red. I don't know why. It doesn't look like anything. I mean, Lamy Red looks pink, let's be honest. But it was a sample, so I don't know. I guess I wanted Lamy Red not to feel completely left out because <laughs> I never use it. Um, okay, here is Colorverse Monument Valley. Now this is, this does have some lovely shading, if you can see that. That is very nice. But it's kind of a, it's orange, but I would say it's kind of a more mustardy color maybe, a little browner. I don't know. It's hard to describe. Definitely orange, but also definitely different from these two guys. Here is Twisby Orange. And again, that does have some shading going on. But 
I don't know. It's, it's looking a bit vibrant like habanero. But, of course, habanero has so much more shading. And what else do we have here? Here is Monteverde Fire Opal. And that's getting more into the brown category, I think. Still orange, but just moving away from these bright oranges. But still some nice shading going on in there. And Monteverde Ruby, he's kind of moved on past orange and went straight into red. But, you know, kind of kind of in the family, in the ballpark, especially the shading part here, the darker area. That's kind of similar. So, you know, it's, um, it's orange adjacent. Who else do we have here? Diamine Burnt Sienna. And again, he has just moved right into brown territory. And here is Diamine Ancient Copper, one of my favorite inks. Gosh, all of these have the old style card. I need to make new cards for all of these because I just love my drips. But yeah, he's definitely brown, a beautiful rich brown, but not orange. And then Canyon Rust is more similar to Ancient Copper and definitely brown. And then just to compare, here's Noodler's Yellow and Apache Sunset is kind of yellow, but I guess parts of the shading of it are yellow, but it's definitely orange. And the Noodler's Habanero is even darker than that. So I guess Apache Sunset would be about the closest, even though it's lighter. But um, Fire Opal, it's not too far off. And Twisby Orange, Twisby Orange is pretty close. I don't think it has quite the the shading or quite the, the pop of the Noodler's inks, but it's still very pretty. Alrighty. Well, my goodness, I, I felt like I just zipped through that, but no, I didn't because we're at 17 minutes. <laughs> can I zip through anything? I don't think I can, but that's all right. I'm so glad you enjoy spending time with me and my inks, and we enjoy spending time with you. So I hope you liked this video today. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.